Okay, an oldie but a goodie, the Maybelline Insert and Wind Eraser Concealer. This sucker has been through the ringer. As you can see, this poor soldier has had better days. I have used this sucker forever and ever and ever, and I love it. It is so easy to apply. Seriously, just take the cap off. I love how it comes with an applicator. Do it, give it a couple cranks, and then I'm going to show you exactly where to apply it. So you don't want to go cakey heavy under your eyes. You're going to start here in the corner, because that's where you want brightness is here, and then here for the natural left. Here, because this is naturally where lights hits, as you can see and then down your nose and a little bit right here in your chin. I also, if you want to look snatched as the kids call it, you're gonna put a little bit here and here under where you put your contour. So let me show you. So you're gonna go here, here, above your brow bone, here on the inside. Again, just a little bit, you don't need a lot. It spreads, so don't worry about applying. You don't think it's enough, it's enough. And then here, again, you want the eye going up. Here. Here. All right, yeah. I bring mine down a little bit on my nose because I have some hyperpigmentation there that I also like to cover, and this does a great job with it. Down the nose, and then here. So you can see where I put my bronzer, and my, my bronzer, my contour, right there, and I'm just gonna go under it right there. A little bit here here and a little bit right there. So that's how it should awkwardly look. <laughs> so now you are just gonna take your beauty blender and blend it all in. Again, this stuff spreads so a little does go a long way. I've had this for three months, four months. Like seriously, this one little product can last you nearly half the year. So don't think you're not using enough, you're using plenty, less is more. And again, this does such a good job covering that you don't need a lot of product. Some you really have to cake it on to actually get it to cover. This doesn't, this actually covers what it's supposed to cover. There you go. Just brightens it up. And I'm gonna show you how the final look is all put together. Okay, so here is the final makeup look for today. As you can see, everything sits so well. It is a beautiful, flawless finish. Yep, and I highly recommend it.